Hello there, my fellow friendly and stealthy mech warriors, and welcome back to your usual and regular dose of Battletech Battlemechs lore. Today, we're gonna take a look at a mech that surprisingly defies both expectations and standards. But how does it do that? Well, it is actually a mech of the heavy category, but which surprisingly is also fast, very stealthy, and also very stabby stabby about it, as it is actually an assassin mech. Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, I give you the Exterminator Heavy Battle Mech. I am your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us learn more about it, shall we? In the last episode, I promised I would begin every video concerning battle mechs with a few general details concerning them. So, for this particular one, we have... The Exterminator is a heavy class battle mech. Its base variant weighs 65 tons, and its rounded price is 15,853,000 C-bills. Its speed is very high for a heavy mech, going up as far as 92 km an hour. The Exterminator is a battle mech that was designed in 2630 for a very dubious but necessary purpose. This was headhunting. The Exterminator was outfitted with a special Null Signature system, heat baffles, and in some cases a Chameleon Light Polarization Shield. These very advanced systems allowed it to easily infiltrate enemy lines. Once the Exterminator had breached the enemy's rear, its mission was to find and destroy as much of the enemy's command structure as possible. This mission profile included attacking mobile headquarters, field bases, and command level officers. Rather than be part of the standard formation, the exterminators were attached to a regimental or higher headquarters unit, often as the fifth member of the command lance itself, before being assigned to individual units. A regiment was considered very lucky to have more than one exterminator, and it was not unusual for its parent unit to pull all assigned exterminators and pull them in a specified role. It was widely believed that the exterminator design had not survived the fighting of the First Succession War. Believe it or not, this mech was sometimes considered so dangerous to, let's call them less experienced officers, that there were lances especially made whose sole mission was to hunt down and destroy them. Another reason why they believed this mech was gone was the destruction of the General System's primary factory on Cap in 2793. In 3007, Kalon Industries, on Nanking in the Capellan Confederation, looking for a replacement for their aging Wolverine model, somehow recovered blueprints for the Exterminator. They immediately modified the design so that it could be built using the technology already available. The result was a battle mech not only far less effective than the original, but below the capabilities of even the Wolverine it was meant to replace. Only 25 of these cheap made in China exterminators were produced, and none survived beyond the Fourth Succession War. Unfortunately, this made the design effectively extinct in the inner sphere. Or so most of them believed. Only later it was revealed that the Exterminator still existed in Comstar's private army, the Comguard. Although even here there were very few of the hyper-advanced stealth models. Ironically, while the Exterminator was retained by the clans, its decidedly dishonorable method of war meant very few were ever used. Comstar continued to produce variants which took advantage of recovered lost tech, and the design was used by the word of Blake during the Jihad. The weapons used by the Exterminator are not nearly as unique or high-tech as the electronics on board. The primary weapons of the Exterminator are four Averell High Point Medium Lasers, two of each in either arm. For long-range engagement, the mech also carries a Deadeye-10 LRM-10 launcher with one ton of reloads in the center torso. These weapons are backed up by a single Dynatech Mark III small laser mounted in the head for when the engagement's close to point-blank range. 
for defense against missile attack, the exterminator has a buzzsaw anti-missile system in the right torso with one ton of ammo. For maneuverability, the exterminator carries five jump jets, two of each in either leg and one in the rear torso, allowing it to make leaps of up to 150 meters. Combined with an extra light engine, these give the exterminator the maneuverability of a mech half its size. Ten and a half tons of armor also give it good protection for close quarters combat, while eleven heat sinks provide adequate heat dissipation. Some variants of this sneaky guy include. Also, I know you guys are probably tired of hearing this, but I do feel I need to mention this disclaimer, especially for people who didn't watch any other mech videos of mine. Not all the pictures used in these videos are accurate representations of some of the variants also discussed. That being said, here we go. The EXT-4A The 4A is what became of the Exterminator after the Succession Wars, revived by Kellon Industries when they came across the blueprints for the design in 3007. The resulting mech resembles the Exterminator outwardly, and carries an almost identical weapons loadout, but otherwise it is not the same machine. The only weapon change is the use of a M100 heavy machine gun with a half ton of ammo in place of the anti-missile system. A smaller Vox 325 standard fusion engine reduces its top speed by about 10 kilometers. The armor is still identical to that of the original Exterminator, but unfortunately, the null signature system could not be saved. The version also made use of a Tech Battlecom communication system and a Tech Lore T13D targeting system. The EXT4C This is the fully equipped stealth version of the 4D and was released in the same year, including the null signature system and the Chameleon Light Polarization Shield. The EXT-4DB This was a variant introduced in 2718, and it only replaces the LRM-10 and anti-missile system with an ER large laser. The EXT-5E The 5E is a complete upgrade of the Exterminator introduced in 3060, with a new mission of closing with the enemy units to deliver improved NARC pods. The 5E has an improved NARC missile beacon launcher, and all four of its medium lasers were changed to ER medium lasers. The jump jets have been removed from the chassis to make room for an improved C3 computer. To make up for the lack of jumping ability, a mask system was also installed, allowing for an augmented speed of up to 129 kph. The EXT-5F this is an upgrade of the 5E introduced in 3074, replacing the lasers with paired light PPCs. The NARC launcher is replaced by an MML-7 with two tons of ammo and one ER small laser. MML stands for Multi-Missile Launcher. These modifications change its original role of a headhunter into one of a range support mech. The EXT-6CS this was an experimental Comstar-produced variant first spotted in 3079. It carries a light PPC in each arm, and a pair of medium pulse lasers as well. An MML-7 with 3 tons of ammo in a Case 2 protected bin rounds out the armament. The anti-missile system is gone, but in its place are a chameleon light polarization shield and a null signature system. These two systems make sure that the mech is very difficult to hit. One famous custom variant of this mech is known as the EXT-4DX, or the Exterminator Kane. This was the personal mech of Lieutenant Kane Barclay of the SLDF. The Exterminator this guy used removed the null signature and chameleon light polarization shield, and also stripped off all the weaponry. In their place, this version carried a mask and supercharger, while each arm carried three medium pulse lasers. Each laser was also equipped with a laser insulator to help diffuse the heat. 
The anti-missile system was kept, but a smaller engine dropped the cruising speed down to 58 kph. Despite the smaller engine, the mask and supercharger allowed Barclay's mech to reach bursts of speed of up to 130 kph. Though Barclay was successful in defeating 10 DCMS mech warriors in duels, it was an 11th one which finally destroyed his mech. Some notable pilots of this battle mech include Andery Kerensky. He was the second son of General Alexander Kerensky and a younger brother of clan founder Nicholas Kerensky. Demi presenter Rudolf Shakov of the Comstar 244th Division was another notable pilot who used an exterminator during the Fedcom Civil War. Presenter Krag Jernberg of Comstar's 138th Division piloted and died in an exterminator during the Battle of Tukayed against Phelan Kell. Captain Borden Hallis was a Comstar officer killed in the Battle of Tukayed by the Steel Vipers while piloting an exterminator. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about the Exterminator Heavy Battle Mech for today. A powerful and very useful mech, of course, under the right circumstances. Unfortunately, like you already found out, it never ended up being very widespread. Though I'm sure to some mech warriors at least, that was probably a blessing. Are you a fan of the Exterminator? What do you like or dislike most about it? Feel free to share any of your thoughts and opinions on it in the comments below. Was this episode informative or entertaining? In that case, please click the like button and subscribe for future content. Thank you very much for watching to the end, and I wish you all an amazing day. This is GDN signing out.